Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy. And the other day I was reached out to by a viewer who was needing some help printing a particular object. So I took a look at it and I decided, well, if anyone else is experiencing this problem, you can use this video to help you print something that you might be having difficulty with that's similar. So let's take a look at what they're trying to do. So they are trying to print this balanced die here. So the thing about this die here is that it's missing some material on the corner, so it's more rounded. And one of the things that they wrote here in the summary is that I've tested the new version and it seems to perform much better. The rotated print gave better results than the regular print. So when you kind of scroll through, you see that this is what they're talking about. They're trying to print this die at this particular angle, but it keeps falling over and they're not too sure what to do about it. So I decided to take a stab at it. So here's the model in Orca Slicer, and you can see that it's still on that angle there. So I decided, well, maybe just making a brim is going to be enough to keep this secure to the build plate. And if you don't know what a brim is, it's basically a thin layer of filament that your object is going to stick to so that it can adhere better to the build plate. If you want to know how to do that and you're using Orca Slicer, what you need to do is go over to the Others tab if you have the advanced setting toggled on. And when you do that, you'll see Brim Type. And this is no brim, so there's no brim currently on it. You can use Auto, Mouse Ear, Outer Brim, Inner Brim, Outer and Inner, or just no brim. If you don't have the advanced option selected, it's okay because others is still available. So you're going to be doing the exact same thing. So I'm just going to say auto. So I went ahead, I sliced the plate and you see that it applied this very small brim right there, right to the tip of this die. So using the default settings of this printer, I didn't do anything else except for adding the brim. I tried to print it out and it was going well at first, but then it failed. It got knocked over. So I decided to try a second time using the same file, but this time I slowed the print down. I slowed it down by 50% right there on the printer. And the speed at which it was printing, I looked at it, it was between 20 millimeters a second and 33 millimeters a second. And it didn't take very long for this to print, but I managed to print it successfully. And here is the result. So I think this die looks pretty good. The only blemish that's on it is where it was on the build plate. And you can see right there, that's where the brim was connected to it. So if you get it to print, you're probably going to have to do a little bit of cleanup right there, perhaps a little bit of sandpaper, maybe a deburring tool to just kind of make it more even with all the other sides. But the rest of it looks pretty darn good. And I was happy that I was able to get this printed. And it, it wasn't difficult. Just needed to add a brim and then slow the print down. You should see more success. Now, if that doesn't work, oh, and by the way, here is the failed version of it. It got almost all the way there, but then the uh, nozzle, because it was moving so fast, it knocked it loose. But another thing that you can try if you're having trouble with things sticking to the build plate is clean the build plate. Because if you're touching it a lot with your hands, the natural oils in our hands is known to interfere with the adhesiveness of that build plate. So all you have to do is just take it off and then go over to your sink, clean it off with soap and water. And then you can dry it, heat up the bed, plop that platform back down on there and you know that'll help to dry up any water that you might have missed. Get it nice and dry and then try the print again. You can use glue if you think that that's going to help with the adhesion, but typically if you just wash the print bed, that can also help you. Nothing wrong with using glue, but just try to wash it first and see where that gets you. But the main thing here is use a brim and slow your speeds down. And it will not only help with little things like this, like this die here, it'll also help with other objects that happen to be tall, that don't have a lot of surface area to be firmly planted on the bed. Kind of like this, the hands on this big brick Lego inspired minifigure. This needs to be printed just like this with the hands facing up and then the wrist part facing down. And sometimes when I tried to print this a few different times, actually, it would get knocked over. Even with a brim, it was getting knocked over. So I did the same thing that I tried with the die. I cleaned the bed and then I slowed the print down and then it was able to be successful. So if you're having trouble with things like this, go ahead and give that a shot and 
perhaps you'll see some success. I surely hope you do. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be putting out some more very soon. And until then, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.